When an order from a customer comes in, a few things will happen. Firstly, you'll receive an email alerting you to the order. At this point, your customer will also receive an email invoice and confirmation. Secondly, if the order has been credit card processed by PayPal, you'll also receive an email from PayPal informing you that money has been credited to your PayPal account. If you haven't already, make sure you set up a PayPal business account at www.paypal.com. Thirdly, your order will get fed into the shop's database. To process these orders, simply press the Orders tab, and then click on the order you'd like to process. This will list all of the order details, including what products they've ordered, the shipping address of the customer, and the invoice address. Importantly, have a look at the status drop-down box here. Try and make this as up-to-date as you can. For example, when you've shipped the goods or given them to the courier company, change the status to shipped. When you do this, the system will automatically send the client an email informing them that their goods have been shipped. If you'd like to create a custom status to add this drop-down box, you can do this by clicking Statuses. If you'd like to send a message to the customer to inform them of any updates, you can do that through the shop also. While viewing the order, simply scroll down to the New Message, type your message to the customer, and then click Send. If you find yourself writing the same message over and over again to all of your customers, you can even create a message templates to reuse by clicking the order messages and creating them there. If your customer has paid you through PayPal, you can pay the funds from PayPal into your own bank account by logging into PayPal and clicking withdraw under my account and just follow the prompts. If your customer has selected that they will pay you by bank transfer, they will receive an email with your bank details. Once you've confirmed that the money is in your account, you should give the goods to the courier and set your status to shipped. If your customer has paid you through DPS, your bank account will already have been credited. The system will allow you to create a PDF invoice that the customer can then download by logging into their account.